Hey everyone, welcome back to the networking series. Today, we're talking about firewalls, one of the most critical tools for protecting your network from security threats. In this video, we'll cover what firewalls are, how they work, and why they're essential for safeguarding your devices and your data. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how firewalls protect your network and how to configure them to keep threats at bay. Let's get started. First off, what exactly is a firewall? A firewall is a security device, either hardware or software, that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing traffic on your network. Think of a firewall as a gatekeeper. It decides what traffic is allowed in and what gets blocked based on a set of predefined security rules. There are two main types of firewalls, hardware firewalls and software firewalls. A hardware firewall is a physical device that sits between your network and the internet, inspecting traffic before it reaches your internal devices. These are often found in routers and are commonly used in businesses. But many high-end home routers already have built-in firewall capabilities. Software firewalls, on the other hand, are installed on individual devices like computers or servers. They monitor traffic that enters and exits each device and can block or allow traffic based on security policies. Most operating systems like Windows and Mac OS come with built-in software firewalls that can be configured for extra security. At their core, firewalls use rules to determine which traffic is allowed to pass and which should be blocked. These rules are often based on factors like IP addresses, port numbers, and protocols. For example, you might create a rule to allow web traffic, HTTP, on port 80, but block all traffic from a specific IP address that you suspect is malicious. Now, let's talk about how firewalls work at a deeper level. Firewalls use packet filtering to inspect each packet of data that enters or leaves the network. Each packet is analyzed based on the firewall's security rules. And if the packet meets the criteria, it's allowed through. If it doesn't, it gets blocked. Packet filtering firewalls are the most basic type of firewall, but they only look at individual packets without considering the full context of the data flow. This brings us to the next type of firewall, stateful inspection firewalls. A stateful inspection firewall doesn't just analyze individual packets, it keeps track of the state of active connections. This means it can recognize if packets are part of an ongoing legitimate session or if they're part of an unexpected or suspicious attempt to access your network. This adds an extra layer of security compared to basic packet filtering. Another type of firewall is the application layer firewall, also known as a proxy firewall. These firewalls operate at the application level of the OSI model, meaning they can inspect traffic based on specific applications or services. For example, an application layer firewall can filter web traffic based on the content of the request or block specific applications from accessing the internet. In addition to blocking unwanted traffic, Firewalls can also prevent outbound traffic from leaving your network. For example, if a device on your network gets infected with malware, a properly configured firewall can prevent that malware from communicating with its command and control server, stopping it from spreading further or stealing your data. One important concept in firewall configuration is the idea of default deny. This means that all traffic is blocked by default and only traffic that matches specific allow rules is permitted. This approach provides a higher level of security because it minimizes the chances of accidentally allowing malicious traffic. On the other hand, there's also default allow, where all traffic is allowed except for what is explicitly blocked. This approach is less secure because it opens the door to a wide range of potential threats unless the rules are carefully configured. I wouldn't recommend this. Firewalls are not a one size fits all solution and configuring them correctly is the key to their effectiveness. One common approach to firewall configuration is setting up zones. For example, you might have a trusted zone for devices that are on the inside of your network and an untrusted zone for those coming from the internet. 
you'll also want to set up a DMZ or demilitarized zone for public facing services like web servers. The firewall can enforce different security policies for each one of these zones. Let's talk about Unified Threat Management or UTM firewalls. These are advanced firewalls that combine multiple security functions into a single device. In addition to basic firewall rules, UTM firewalls often include features like intrusion detection and intrusion prevention, also known as IDS and IPS, antivirus scanning, VPN support, and content filtering. UTM firewalls are commonly used in business to provide comprehensive protection against a wide range of threats. Firewalls are also essential for protecting against DOS or DDoS attacks, where attackers attempt to overwhelm a network by flooding it with traffic. A properly configured firewall can help detect and block these types of attacks before they cause significant damage. But firewalls alone are not enough to secure a network. They should be used as part of a broader defense in depth strategy, which involves multiple layers of security, including antivirus software, intrusion detection systems, and encryption. Firewalls are an important first line of defense, but they work best when combined with other security measures. So to recap, a firewall is a device that controls the flow of traffic into and out of your network based on predefined security rules. Hardware firewalls protect entire networks or software firewalls protect individual devices. Firewalls can filter traffic based on IP addresses, ports, protocols, and more advanced firewalls like stateful inspection and application layer firewalls add additional layers of protection. In the next video, we'll be discussing VPNs or virtual private networks and how they secure your internet connection by encrypting your data and masking your IP address. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support really does mean a lot to me. I truly mean that. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.